I've been asked to talk a little bit about environment lighting and so here I've got the old lamp that I modeled and textured a while ago and I've got some lights in here and um, if I look through the camera and I do a quick uh, render just with the background color you'll see what that looks like all right so there it is and you notice that the background here is not visible and this is a nice way of doing things if you want to composite some images you want to take it into Photoshop or PowerPoint or some other software and and put in your own back background and the way that you do that is you come over here to this tab and you scroll down to film and you put a check under here if I don't have that checked I can get another view and I will have the background color okay I'll have that background color so here you see the light gray. Now the lighting is all from my own lights and uh, there's no real reflections. There's, there's no other objects in the scene for this to reflect. All you're getting is uh, the reflection of some of the lights in the scene. So what people often do is they come here to this tab here and under color they click there and choose environment texture. You notice that it's gone pink or purple and that's because there is no environment uh, lighting image in there so now we're going to click open and we're going to choose HDRI so high dynamic range images now these are available a lot of them are, are free and I'll put some links where you can find them uh, I've just downloaded a bunch of these so if I was to click one of these and open image it'll put that in the background and that will provide light and also stuff to reflect in my object depending on how reflective uh, my object is you can adjust the strength down here so for example if I change this to 0 0.3 you would see that it's darker or whatever I'll do a render with that in the background alright so now you can see and this is not necessarily a good render you can see the HDR image in the background and it is providing light to my model now that wasn't the greatest uh, render but I can come up here to the shading tab and make sure you switch to the world tab and now you can see what's actually going on I've got my background here with the strength of 0 0.3 you can see that over here and this is the image that I loaded as an HDR alright so I can try loading another one just choose anything that you have downloaded from the internet and you get a completely different lighting setup I'm going to choose this one all right now if you like that you go ahead and render it but I want to show you that you can also adjust this you can of course change the strength here all right I'll go back to maybe 0 0.5 there but if I was to come here and select this image just click on it and go control T now that's with the node wrangler uh, enable the free add-on just enable it in preferences I now have this mapping set up and I can rotate the HDR of the world so under the Z if I just pull this I can change the positioning of my lighting and render from there so now I have the lighting from the HDRI and depending on again on the reflectivity of my model I get some of that image in my model so it makes it look more interesting and I get some nice colors and stuff like that so you can rotate the HDR and if you want you can come back up here come down to film choose transparent and render again and you'll get the lighting and the any colors or reflections from the HDRI but you won't see the image in the background there we go so I've got the lighting and the reflections and any colors from the HDRI but I don't have the background I can now bring that into Photoshop or PowerPoint or whatever all right so often I will put an environment um, image uh, an HDRI in the background and again just go to the internet search for free HDRIs or follow the links that I gave you and you can find a whole bunch of them for free and then you can use them and that can dramatically change uh, how your how your image looks now another thing that you can do which is kind of neat is instead of using an HDRI it's going to delete that you can open a Windows wallpaper and try that see what happens just click on this one open it and that gives you a whole other situation where you can get some really neat lights you can still rotate this around 
you may have to bump up the strength of that and you can get some really neat colors all right let's go for that and that's completely different i'll render that all right so i had that sort of blue color so again i'm getting the light the reflections but i'm getting some of those neat colors in there let's try something else all right move that around so you get the lighting that you like and then render. You can either render with it in the background or not. Keeping in mind that some of these images uh, may not be free images. I may just have just downloaded them because I like them as wallpaper. I'm not sure I would want to publish that with somebody else's HDRI in the back or Windows wallpaper in the background. All right, so that's a little bit about how to set the transparency, um, how to use HDRIs, and how to use Windows wallpaper and rotate them.